is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Twigger and I've got another high ELO commentary for you focusing on this cute little Yoda right here, Tristana, but it is... I'm a cutie pie who you guys might know he was the 80s carry on Team Dignitas, but he is um, not overly frequently. Actually, quite a while ago, he did retire from the professional esports league, and he is now just basically a full time streamer. Um, I did confirm that this is just one of uh, I'm a cutie pie's Smurfs. Um, he did use this one on stream, and I was actually watching his stream. I saw him get into a game, and I thought, man, wouldn't it be awesome if I could record the game and then commentate over it? And then luckily, I managed to get into the game, and I managed to get this commentary down uh, with, uh, I think it's a program called Baron Replay, which is really, really cool. Uh, because you do get to see the entirety of the game from start to finish. So we're uh, focusing on... Uh, I'm like, look at this skin. Like, it's just so unfair. It's so stupidly cute. But it is the worst death animation I've ever seen. It is the saddest thing. I don't know what Riot was thinking. Make this really cute, adorable, fun-loving skin. And then when Tristana dies, the dragon, like, lives and, like, pokes her. And then, like nestles up to the dead body oh it's so it's heartbreaking heartbreak so i'm hoping i'm really hoping that cutie pie doesn't die too frequently um so we don't have to see that very many times because you know i i'm i, I it's been a while since i've had a good cry but i'm not feeling like one in the middle of a commentary to be honest um so i'm just going to focus on this janna while i sort through these guys i just want everybody to know who is going where nocturne in the jungle let's crank down here with the lucian with the vladimir up in the top lane with the zed in the mid lane and there we go so just running down the teams a little bit here, up in the top lane, we have a Rengar versus a Vladimir. Um, a fairly standard lane in terms of the Vladimir, but the Rengar, uh, haven't seen a top lane Rengar in quite some time. In the mid lane, we got a TF versus a Zed, who's already being pushed right into his turret. We also have in the jungle, a Nocturne versus a Lee Sin. Fairly standard jungle matchup. And then, of course, in the bot lane, we have our boy Cutie Pie with Janna facing against a Blitzcrank and a Lucian. So, the purpose of this commentary is going to be more focused on the uh, the bot lane with Tristana and Janna versus that Lucian and Blitzcrank, just to uh, know how our boy is doing. But um, we'll also focus on the entirety of the map, just to show how the teams are doing and what teams are focusing on. Um, I think the, uh, the past couple commentaries... People wanted me to focus a little bit more on the champion that we're supposed to be focusing on. But it looks like Cutie Pie getting grabbed, taking a lot of damage. The exhaust coming down and also the ignite going down onto Tristana. Manages to jump away. Does have that rocket jump to get away from this one. But Cutie Pie taking a ton of damage. And it looks like the Blitzcrank is going pretty hard on this one. Gets knocked up by the Janna. Cutie Pie is just kind of wailing away on it. But it looks like there is not going to be a kill done. But it looks like the Blitzcrank coming in. Flashing to try to get the jump onto the Tristana. But it's not actually going to hit the Tristana. Only going to hit the Janna. The heal coming out of Tristana as well is going to be enough to pick up first blood for I'm a Cutie Pie on that Dragon trainer Tristana very very scrappy fight down in that bot lane but it's kind of trying to get that knock up onto Tristana with the flash but it just was not enough and it looks like Rengar was picked up but still you know flashing that champion mastery like a any good player would do um, so it looks like Rengar was just kind of, uh, I think probably just trying to ward, but didn't realize that the Lee Sin was right there, so ended up picking up a free kill on that one. Um, so very, very good news for the Tristana, picking up first blood. Cutie Pie is definitely going to enjoy that one. Um, whenever you get first blood on an AD carry, it gives you just this insurmountable lead because you if you're a good uh farmer like if you're very good at getting your cs um he should be able to go back and have enough gold to pick up a very early bf sword which puts him on just such a high ad level going back in the lane at like level five that um, it's going to be very difficult for this Lucian to kill the Tristana um, without taking a huge amount of damage. But looks like we do have a gank in the mid lane. The Flash coming out of both the Nocturne and the Zed. The Zed's not going to be able to escape this one, I don't think. And this one is going to be a kill. Let for the Tr sorry the uh, Twisted Fate, a Twisted Fate Tristana. This is going to be difficult. But um, yeah, looks like the Nocturne just completely backed off on that one, allowed the Twisted Fate to get the kill, knowing that uh, Twisted Fate. When he hits level 6, his roam potential and ability to help out other lanes is just going to be absolutely huge. So you definitely want that Twisted Fate to get his items a little bit early to make those roams even more impactful and probably more successful if he does have a couple items under his belt when he goes back for the first time. So I'm assuming that um, Cutie Pie is not going to be sticking around for too much longer. He's already sitting at 1350. So he does have enough to go back and pick up a BF sword, um, which I'm expecting him to do fairly early. Like, once you get that money, yeah, it looks like he is going B right now. Um, once you get that money to get that BF sword, once again, it's just so good. It's such a good thing to go and pick up, because um, he's just going to be coming back to lane with so much damage. It's going to be pretty difficult for this Lucian Blitzcrank combo to deal with, unless Blitz gets a very good hook. You can never underestimate a good blitz cook, the hook because if he gets the hook, Trisana tries to jump away. It can be interrupted with the uh, the rocket punch of the uh, 
Is it the power? What the hell is it called? I, I know it's not rocket grab. So what the hell is this one called? Power fist. I was like power punch punch power fist so there we go okay so yeah when he gets that knock up you can actually interrupt the tristana's rocket jump which is pretty fantastic so if they manage to get a good hook onto the tristana her ad really isn't gonna matter what the hell was that jump <laughs> yes. you made it buddy you're alive that was adorable though really really cute so kind of looking down the lanes here, it looks like the Rengar is going to try to go a little bit aggressive onto this body. We're not really getting uh, close enough to get much damage, but the Ignite going down, the Bullet Strike landing onto the Vladimir. He doesn't have Flash either, but here's the Lee Sin to give some support, and that is just such horrible timing for the Rengar. Rengar definitely would have been able to have a field day with that Vladimir, but sadly, once again, the Lee Sin just in the right position at the right time manages to take down the Rengar with the help of Vladimir. And, uh, yeah, it was just that Nocturne wasn't in the right area, and Lee Sin was, so sometimes you get lucky as a jungler, and those, those kills just kind of fall into your open arms. And luckily, Vladimir was just good enough to, uh, to run that way, but here comes the Nocturne onto the Vladimir. The Fear Tether is on, and he is gonna get the Fear, but the exhaust coming out of the Vladimir, I don't know if it's gonna be enough, it will not. Winter Break, <laughs> apparently is Nocturne's name, has slain the Vladimir. Um, sadly not getting an assist for the Rengar, it was too, uh, too late for that one, but, uh, definitely worthwhile using that Nocturne ultimate, making it successful, um, and also getting the exhaust out of the Vladimir. So, there we go, there's the rocket grab onto the Tristana. Tristana trying to doing a lot of damage, doing a shit ton of damage to that Lucian, but it looks like taking a lot of damage himself by getting that ignite from the blitzcrank onto her but it looks like they might be able to do some more here but it looks like the least it is already coming up i don't know there's the rocket jump good knockup from the janna gonna try to run away from this one oh lisa lands it and manages to get the kill what a oh and the grab onto janna as well and this is gonna be a dead bot lane completely oh my goodness what a what a sonic wave coming from the Lee Sin going the distance and managing to land it on Tristana and I'm a cutie pie just couldn't get away from that one that was just whoo and that was a lot of damage that went through just with that uh follow through on the Q with the E and then flashing out of there to make sure that he didn't get locked underneath the turret very very nicely played but it looks like the Rengar ultimate coming out and it looks like we're gonna try to have a gank here and a great jump bola strike is gonna lock down the Zed Three people taking part in that gank, which was fantastically executed. And it looks like Twisted Fate going to get the kill on that one. Currently sitting at 2-0-0. Zero, and zero. But just wanted to uh, speak quickly about the Twisted Fate's build. Currently going for the Catalyst, which means that he's probably going for a Rod of the Ages as the first item. Um, which is an interesting buy, I've got to say. Um, normally when you're going up against somebody like a Zed, um, and even as a TF, which I feel like this item is fairly good with, um, you would normally go for a Zonia's Hourglass, or at least a very early Seeker's Arm Guard as your first item. Um, just to ensure that the damage coming out of Zed's ultimate isn't going to kill you right away. But also, as a TF, you tend to like the Zonia's Hourglass, because when you teleport into, like, three people, you can get your gold card off and your Q, and then just Zonia's, and you won't die, and then your team can follow up. But, um... TF kind of opting for a different strategy. They're going more for the the life aspect. So, th with the extra additional life, he won't die to the Zed Ultimate. And hopefully, he'll have a little bit more just kind of tankiness from the extra life from the Rod of Ages. Uh, that he won't need to worry about the Zonias as early. Um, but with the, uh, the Rod of Ages, of course, he'll be getting quite a bit of extra AP. But it looks like... Oh, man! Look at the Juke Shoes on the Vladimir! Everybody's trying to get to him. The Ultimate going to come out of Vladimir. Probably going to be enough to kill off this Rengar unless they do... A great flasher coming out, and it's not going to be enough to pick off the Rengar. He just couldn't get in range of that Q. So Rengar getting out of that one barely by the skin of his teeth. And Nocturne picking up that kill onto the Vladimir. But it looks like the Blitzcrank hook is going to miss, so Trissan is going to turn this into a little bit of extra damage. Um, I love Cutie Pie and the way that he plays AD Carry because he always tends to be quite aggressive. Um, always going for pod shots when he can. But it looks like the Nocturne trying to get away from this. Oh, but look at the damage coming down onto the Lee Sin. My god! So it was enough to pick off the Lee Sin, but just not enough to pick up both. And sadly, the Zed did manage to pick up the Rengar. And look, oh man, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. We can't, we can't miss a kill from Cutie Pie himself. We would not be members of the Big Donger Club if we did not watch this kill. So going pure, pure ham onto this Lucian. Jumping right into his face. The flash dodge of the Blitzcrank hook. And my god, we are seeing a great Trisana. Tris sorry, Twisted Fate now coming down to try to get the kill onto the uh, the Blitzcrank. Trisana is just going to get the assist on that one. And is just going to walk back. So a very well executed dive. An amazing flash of the Blitzcrank hook from I'm a Cutie Pie. Showing that even though he is out of the professional scene and he went into streaming, he has not lost any of his talent on a champion like Tristana. My goodness, that was a good play. Very nicely done, Cutie Pie. You are, you are definitely making a name for yourself in my commentary books. 
So it looks like right now, Trisanda sitting at 2, 1, and 1 to the Lucians, 1, 1, and 0. Um, the big players that we got to look at, the Lee Sin on the red side, sitting at 4, 1, and sorry, on the blue side, 4, 1, and 0. But you've also got to look at the Twisted Fate and the Nocturne um, on the red side, 3, 1, and 2 for the Nocturne, and 3, 0, 0 for the Twisted Fate. Both of them doing incredibly well. Um, also, just kind of looking down the uh, the list of trinkets here, it looks like the uh, the blue side is the first to go for that uh, that sweeping lens um, onto the Blitzcrank, trying to get those uh, those wards killed earlier rather than later. But uh, also going to go down the farm a little bit here, so because right now it looks like kind of people are just kind of preparing for buffs and things like that. Actually, you know what? I am going to talk about the top lane because it looks like the Zed is uh, primed and ready for an ultimate. Yep. There it is, and that is pro- Oh, but a nice heal, and Zed actually gave up too early. Having a flash, and the ultimate getting off on the Rengar. There's no way this guy's gonna live. He made it! Unbelievable! So the Zed actually gave up a little bit too early, but I can't really talk about that quite yet. Because the rocket's gonna- Sorry, the Power Fist is gonna come out of the, uh, the Blitzcrank, and is gonna be enough to kill the TF after a flash. But the Zed gave up a little bit too early on the Rengar. So the Rengar used his Empowered W to heal up a little bit, and it managed to give him enough health to actually survive the ultimate from the Zed. And the Zed had to flash to try to get a shuriken off on him, but it wasn't enough. And then the ultimate procced, and he had managed to escape. Very, very nice top lane Rengar play on that one. Definitely knows this champion well um, in order to escape something like that, which should have been a pure, easy kill on uh, Zed's part. But he just he gave up just a little bit too soon. Interesting, interesting stuff. So it looks like um, finally the TF being shut down. Um, the Nocturne has yet to be shut down, and I think the Leeson did get shut down on that uh, previous one. But Rengar now trying his luck at the uh, the Zed, not managing to get anything done yet. Leeson is coming as well. The Bola is going to miss. That was the empowered Bola as well. So here comes the Nocturne. That's going to be enough to kill off the Zed. And now the Rengar does have his ultimate. So it looks is he? No, he doesn't have his ultimate. Sorry, he already used it. What the hell am I talking about? But Blitzcrank is here with the Lee Sin. TF is now coming up, though, and he does not have his ultimate yet. Rengar's are trying to be very, very safe, utilizing the fact that he does have those five stacks. And he is going to jump in there and use it onto the Blitzcrank, but it's not going to be enough. TF is now finally arriving, but it's not going to have enough to do anything here. He doesn't even have his ultimate quite yet. It looks like he's just he just got his ultimate, so he couldn't make it up there any quicker. But while all this stuff is going on, there's been too much action happening in the top lane that I haven't been focusing on. I'm a cutie pie, but they've basically just been allowed to straight up push down this turret. Like, they've just completely shut the Lucian out of this lane, and they're just knocking on Heaven's door right now. They take down the second tier turret, because all, like, I've been talking about all the action going down in the top lane, but that's the matter is, no action has been happening in Amicute Pies lane. They've just been, Blitzcrank has started roaming, Lucian just kind of gave up on life, and uh, they just managed to push down everything, so. Oh, man, huge flash play. What was that? What are you thinking, man? Okay, so that was really, really weird. I do not agree with that play at all. So TF wanted to jump in onto the Lee Sim before he went B, stun him and get his Q off and hope that the damage would be enough. But it looks like Chersana is going to get jumped on. The uh, exhaust going in onto the Zed to make sure that the ultimate was not enough to kill I'm a Cutie Pie. And I'm a Cutie Pie now just turning around onto the Blitzcrank, trying to do as much damage. And we're seeing a lot of damage coming out, but... I'm a cutie pie is going to have to jump away from that one. It looks like the Rengar now jumping in onto the Lucian, and Lucian is going to go down so quickly. And that's going to be a free kill for the Rengar. Uh, Tristana surviving that uh, onslaught by the Zed and the Blitzcrank. Uh, I'm probably going to have to jump away now. Um, oh, and there's the hook. Yep. And not going to be enough to kill off the Blitzcrank. So, sadly, just a good hook from the Blitz. Uh, cutie pie just being a little bit too aggro there. Playing with fire, which was always his style of play, even in the LCS. Playing with fire a little bit. Um, and sadly, it didn't pay off for him this time. One more auto attack probably would have cleaned up the Blitzcrank and he would have gotten the reset onto the uh, rocket jump. So he would have gotten away, but sadly just didn't quite get that last auto attack. So he does end up going down. But um, currently the score 10 to 11 in favor of the blue side. 26.1k to 24.1k in favor of the red side though. Um, so definitely a close game. Dragons have not yet been taken. Nobody's really looking for that uh, that early start to the dragon game. Um, but Rengar looking for this uh, this Zed. Um, does currently have a minion blocking off. But there it's going to be with the Bola Strike. A huge chunk of damage coming out of the Zed. And the Flash coming out of the Rengar. So it's so clutch to watch Rengars do this. Um, when you're AD Rengar, you want to go in with the five uh, Ferocity stacks. Because you jump in and then you get your Empowered Bola off. So they can't go anywhere and you get your full combo off. It's just disgusting what you can do with an AD Rengar. But um, as we can see, the Zed had no chance once he got locked down by the Rengar. Like, Rengar didn't really need anything. Didn't even need his Ignite. Just absolutely popped the Zed. 
Um, so definitely going to be curious to see what happens in the later portions of this game. The Lee Sin is going to connect his Sonic Wave onto the TF, but he does have an extra little bit of extra health just because of that uh, that good old-fashioned Rod of Ages. It looks like he will have the support of the Nocturne, so TF is going to make it out of that one alive with a really nice gold card. Um, but Blitzcrank now going to try to jump in here to try to get the Nocturne, but Nocturne also has Spell Shield. But it looks like during all of this, like, Cutie Pie is not even having an entertaining game. He's just doing what he's supposed to do, which is so boring to watch. He's just pushing down turrets. But that's what Janna and Trisana are supposed to do. It's, oh, here we go, Cutie Pie. So Zed, oh, man, what an ultimate. So Zed got completely shut down from his ultimate onto the Janna. Couldn't really do much of anything. But, oh, getting kicked into the turret. You've got to be kidding me. Tristana going down by an unspeakable kick from the Lee Sin, getting him underneath the turret. He didn't manage to pick up a kill, so he had no resets on his uh, jump. And it looks like during all of that, Rengar also got picked off, but the Vladimir on the enemy team went down. So a whole bunch of action happening very quickly there. But sadly, once again, just something not working out for I'm a cutie pie. Even though he's got the damage, he's got the plays, but... It just sadly is not paying off. And while all this has been happening, they did manage to get the top lane turret, which is definitely worth it for uh, a couple deaths. Um, considering that now they're sitting at four turrets to the enemy team's one. But uh, during all that, Lucian has been able to catch up in CS. He's now beating on the Pie by one CS, um, which he shouldn't have been able to do, really. He's just kind of been able to have this sort of uh, free time to get his farm back up, get the Essence Reaver, um, and start collecting the items that he's going to need. But um, when you look at the overall gold, it looks like Trisana's still ahead by about a thousand gold, which is uh, definitely still worth it for Trisana's uh, kind of aspect of the game. But um, once you get to this point um, as a Trisana, especially if you're playing her as more of the uh, like the lane bully turret diving kind of idea, not turret diving, more like turret destroying kind of idea. Um, you get to this point of the game where you've got nothing to do, right? Because you've got all of the outer turrets are now gone. So you can't really do that without being really, really risky and go... Oh, great grab coming out of the Blitzcrank. That was a, such a long distance grab. I'm a cutie pie. Didn't even see that one. They barely had any ward coverage, but that was just... Great clutch grab coming from the Blitzcrank, but it looks like the ultimate coming out from the Nocturne. The Fear Tether is going to land onto the uh, the Lucian, and it's going to be enough to pick him up. But now it looks like Lee Sin coming to try to get a hold of this great Spell Shield coming out of the Nocturne. And he should be able to get away from this one. It looks like the Rengar is also here for support if he needs it, but doesn't look like the Nocturne needs it. Just an overall great play from the Nocturne using that ultimate, knowing how much damage he had. Because the Nocturne went pure aggression here. Went for the Warriors and the Skirmishers with the Ghost Blade. So he is not lacking damage, but it looks like the TF ultimate is coming down. The ultimate coming out from the Rengar as well. A st oh my god, an amazing amount of damage with a ton of CC. But is, no, it's not going to be enough, especially with that ultimate. It's not going to be enough to actually kill the TF. So a very nicely timed gank from that TF-Rengar combo with both ultimates. And that's going to be a dead Vladimir, who's starting to be shut down a little bit more. But I'm a cutie pie back again. Going up mano y mano against the Zed. I don't know necessarily if Zed... Oh, man, look at... He's not... He's not waiting at all. Is it... Oh, and there we go, but is he going to survive? He is not going to survive. So that was a traded kill. But once again, guys, that's what we always see with... Oh! Does the TF have enough to live? Winions? No, they're not going to have it. Lucky oh, what's he doing? What's... No! <laughs> so TF ends up getting shut down by the Lee Sin. Great little play there. The Blitzcrank having to use his flash, and also the TF used his flash. Um, so trade in flashes. To be honest, though, I would rather have the uh, the TF's flash down than the... Uh, sorry, I'd rather have the Blitzcrank's flash down than the TF. The TF wants to have that flash available to make those flash gold card plays that your team can then jump in on. Um, especially considering that you have a Nocturne, Tristana, and Rengar. People who love jumping in on fights. But um, sadly, you're not going to have that flash gold card for a little while. Five minutes, roughly. Um, depending on the cooldown reduction, but basically we are sitting at 15 to 16. Nothing's really changed all that much. Still about like a 1.5 thousand gold lead for the red team. Um, still, no dragons have been taken. No one is really considering that an objective. Which I, I find always a little bit curious, but here comes the Nocturne again onto this Lucian. Not gonna have enough this time to get that uh, Fear Tether off and to get the kill. And it looks like Janna might now be in a little bit of trouble using the knockup trying to get away from this Blitzcrank. And it looks like they might be able to get away from this one. Nice split up, dodging the Q coming out of the Lee Sin, but they are going to lose a turret for this one probably. Lee Sin taking quite a bit of damage. It looks like the Lee Sin is gonna jump in onto the Janna, getting a great kickback. And it looks like Lucian is gonna be the one picking up the kill onto the Janna. Trisana is now finally coming into this fight. I don't know if she's actually gonna be jumping in on this, but. Uh, here comes the Zed, gonna get the ultimate down on Tristana as well, not gonna be able to escape this one, and oh, the heal coming up, but not enough to save Tristana's life, and it looks like I'm a cutie pie going down to that Lee Sin ultimate, sorry, not Lee Sin, Zed ultimate, 
And it looks like this is going to be the TF as well. Falling to that was, in fact, Lee Sin killing the, uh, the TF. So just some very clutch team fight plays coming out of this blue team. Everybody knowing what their target is. A great insect maneuver onto the Janna to get that kill secured for Lucian. And then Trisana just dying to the Zed ultimate and him getting out of that basically unscathed really Trisana didn't really get many hits on him whatsoever the heal did not save him but it looks like the Rengar is gonna get jumped on by this Blitzcrank and it is gonna be enough to kill I'm Johnny the Rengar just did not have enough life to deal with the Blitzcrank because he did have his ultimate and that is going to be a dead kitty in the jungle. So that was overall not a good fight whatsoever for the red team. And now for the first time in the game, it looks like we do have a shift in the gold lead. 39.6k to 38.3k in favor of the blue team. So that is going to be something that the uh, our team is going to need to think about in uh, future endeavors. Right? How are they going to come back from this? But it looks like Trisana trying to find the Zed is going to find the Zed. And that is going to be a shutdown bonus going for I'm a cutie pie. Managing to pick up that kill onto the Zed. That's almost like, that feels good, right? That's revenge, right? You feel really good about your life on that one. That's just like, oh yeah, bitch, you killed me the first time. I'll kill you the second time. So the Janna Shield coming out. A lot of damage coming out of I'm a cutie pie, especially with that uh, Janna Shield. But it looks like finally the first dragon of the game going to the red team. A great dodge, nice little sidestep onto the uh, the Blitzcrank hook, and it looks like the gold card is available. It's going to land on the Blitzcrank, but not really going to do much else. Uh, Blitzcrank being a little bit cautious there and using the face of the mountain on himself just to make sure that no further damage came out to him so he can stay in this fight and uh, make sure that he's A-OK. -okay. So now it looks like the Lee Sin going for the Rengar. The Rengar, it looks like, is trying to pop his ultimate. Will it actually... No, he didn't pop his ultimate, so I don't know what that is. But that is going to be just a very, very easy kill. Uh, for the Lee Sin to pick up. Great spell shield coming out of the Nocturne, and it looks like during all this, I'm a cutie pie has just decided to kind of go up to the top lane, get a little bit more farm, try to become stronger, I guess, because uh, it's going to kind of come down to him, I guess, with kind of pod shotting and remaining safe, and as long as Trisana can remain safe, um, you should be pretty okay, but 1,200 gold sitting on I'm a cutie pie right now, so he's probably farming for a particular item. I'm going to be curious to see what he picks up, but no, he's actually not even going back yet. He wants more. This is the I'm a cutie pie that I know and love. Just, no, I, if I could stay and get more, I will stay and get more. So now sitting at about 1,400 gold. I'm not entirely sure what item he's going to be picking up, but it should be something fairly substantial here. He's already got the Infinity Edge and the Rapid Fire Cannon. Looks like he's going for the Quicksilver Sash. Very, very important purchase on somebody like Tristana because right now he is getting jumped on by the Zed frequently. So the QSS will drop that ultimate off of him, um, which should be very, very good to hopefully help him survive. Um, whether or not that's actually going to make sure that he survives, I, I do not yet know the answer to that. We'll definitely see, though. But it looks like the TF ultimate coming out, and uh, not entirely sure where TF is planning on going. Looks like he's just teleporting kind of to the back line here. The Nocturne ultimate is going to be activated, so that way the enemy team can't really respond to this. I'm a cutie pie jumping over top of the wall to get a part of this, having to flash the Lucian ultimate. But now Trisana is right in the midst of the fight, so there was a big issue there. But it looks like we're just going to commentate the rest of this fight. Nocturne probably going to be taken down by this Lisa, but he jumps a little bit too soon. Then is going to be a shot. Shutdown bonus, Janna ultimate not coming out quickly enough, and it looks like the TF was hit by the Lucian to clean up that kill. Blitzcrank taking down the Janna, and that is going to be a four for none trade, and Rengar not even present during all of that. And it looks like this is going to be the opportunity for the blue team to go for that Baron. The Rengar is available. He's going to jump in and just get a kill onto the Lucian. My god, that was just a drive-by kill. That was amazing. So it looks like it's going to be still a Baron pretty much no matter what. I don't think the Rengar can really stop this one, but hey, a kill is a kill. So it looks like, yeah, the enemy team is just going to focus on this one. Rengar is going to focus on the farm and not really bother about the Baron. But um, the, the most unfortunate part about that fight was I'm a cutie pie jumped in, but he, he put himself right in here, which is where everybody was. He was basically, he became the frontliner at that point, um, which you should never really do as a Tristana, right? It just basically put him in a position where he had to flash the Lucian ultimate because he was going to hit, get hit by every single one of Lucian's ultimate. Um, but, uh, and then he had to try to get away from everybody else, but you're just in the midst of everybody, so he couldn't really stand back and pod shot people, so he just ended up dying so quickly, and it looks like the surrender vote was already activated by the red team, so not looking too good, might be some dissension amongst the ranks of Cutie Pie. Taking a quick sip of my coffee there, because, uh, commentating takes a lot out of you. So Lisa just trying to, uh, do some damage and try to get this Janna out of the uh, the river. Um, definitely wants to prevent her from putting down some of those uh, deeper wards. I'm not sure if Lee Sin wants to go for this one. Yeah, TF is just going to prime that gold card, make sure that he is uh, prepared if Lee Sin did decide to jump in on that one. 
Um, but yeah, Tristana right now, 4, 7, and 1. Uh, Cutie Pie did a fantastic job in the earlier stages of the game. Um, but then a couple very, very aggressive calls uh, that he made um, that just didn't pan out. Sadly, they could have panned out and they would have been very, very good, but they just didn't pan out and it's put him quite far behind. But the Rengar looking for somebody here. Gonna jump in onto the Lucian, but the Lucian dash is gonna come out. And Rengar's gonna go down very, very quickly. And the Nocturne ultimate coming in onto that Lucian as well. But Face of the Mountain is gonna keep him alive. And that's gonna be a two for none right now. And though, sorry, the Lee Sin did end up dying. Trisana, I'm a cutie pie. Managed to pick that one up on the back side of that one. So it was a two for one. Definitely not worth it for the red team because it looks like the, uh, the blue team is still able to siege down this turret. You also have the threat of the Blitzcrank pull. But looks like Trisana's gonna try to just stand back and get pod shots off when he can. But you also don't want to take too much damage because then they could very well just dive you underneath the turret with the Vladimir who can drop the turret aggro with his pool. Blitzkrieg are going to try to get another pull but not going to manage to get that one and they are going to take that inhibitor turret. They now do have an open inhibitor on the bottom side. Trisana going to go very, very aggro. Is going to get the kill onto White who is the Lucian. But it looks like they're probably going to... Oh, TF is going to get pulled and this is probably going to be a dead TF. The zone is coming out. Is going to finally fall down and it looks like the Zed using the ultimate to clean up I'm a Cutie Pie. It wasn't even the ultimate actually. Just used a shadow to get in there to pick up I'm a Cutie Pie. And Zed is going to get away with a fraction of health from the Rengar. The Nocturne is coming in now to try to take down the uh, the low health Zed and also the low health Blitzcrank. But it is going to be a kill for the Zed. The Silence coming out of the Blitzcrank and followed by the Shurikens coming out of the Zed is going to be enough to pick up that Rengar. And it looks like now the Vladimir just chasing down the Nocturne. And that is going to be all she wrote. That was five for just a couple kills. A very successful, really long-winded fight for uh, the, both teams. But sadly, it just was not enough for the uh, the red team. Um, going a little bit aggressive after killing that Lucian. Even though everybody on the blue team was low HP, they just went a tad bit too aggressive and they end up losing so many more kills. And now it's 31 to 22, 55.8k gold to 48.5k gold. We have a huge swing in terms of the gold differences here. And just like everybody who was not doing well on the blue team is now doing phenomenally well. Like everybody has just picked up the slack. And um, it's not like the, the red team has been playing badly by any stretch of the imagination. It's just basically been a couple really, really aggressive plays that if... If it just had gone a little bit better, like a, an extra crit or like something like that, then uh, it would have been a very, very different game. But Leeson jumping in onto this Rengar. My goodness, the damage. He's going to have to guess his... Oh, and he lands the invisible Q. Amazing stuff. So Leeson did not even see the Rengar. His ultimate was activated and he just had the option to throw one Q and he manages to pick off the invisible Rengar. And now it looks like Nocturne is in a pretty bad scenario. Is going to try to get the Lucian, but it's not going to be enough. Did manage to get the Fear, but just not enough to actually take down the Lucian. And it looks like everybody is now just kind of giving up on the red team. That was another surrender vote that failed 2-2. Two to two, So somebody's just not voting. Janna and Trisana are going back up to the top lane. And it looks like they're going to try to just defend this last turret for the inhibitors. But um, the flash coming out of the Blitzcrank, the Zonia is having to be used. And it looks like Trisana, I'm a cutie pie, is going to get followed up by the Lee Sin, but is going to turn it around. Not getting hit too much by the ultimate from the Lucian. Now that Vladimir trying his luck, but is going to get shut down by the uh, the TF. And it looks like that is probably going to be all she wrote. Trisana going to try to jump in onto the Lucian, but it's not going to be enough. The TF jumping in to try to kill off the Lucian as well, but currently not enough to pick him up. The exhaust going down onto Lucian to make sure that TF doesn't die. He is going to finally pick up the kill. And Trisana also picking up the kill onto the uh, Blitzcrank. But Trisana now being Zed ulti is not going to be enough to kill the Trisana. And now I'm a cutie pie picking up a double kill. Keeping their hopes alive in this game. Getting a little bit of much needed gold. But now they're going to probably have to spend the majority of their time killing off the super minions that are in their base. Right now the dragon is live. Not really that big of a deal to any team right now because it's zero dragons to one dragon so it's not like we're looking at the five dragon unless this is going to be a very very prolonged game we're definitely not going to see that five dragon mark um baron is going to be live in about two minutes time so i'm i would not be surprised if uh the blue team were to just kind of wait this thing out get some deep wards clear out all the vision in the baron side river and then go for that baron just to choke out the red team having those baron empowered minions to push down the two open inhibitors and then allow the baron empowered super minions to take care of the uh the base for you is one of the cleanest ways to end a game and the thing is you just can never underestimate champions like rengar and tristana if you don't deal with the Tristana quickly when she has all of her items, including the fully completed Last Whisper, which she doesn't have quite yet, um, if she just stands there in the back line, then you're going to have a really hard time dealing with that. She'll just pod shot you basically to death. 
I'm really curious though. Um, oh man, Flash coming out of the Vladimir, getting very, very aggressive. The ultimate coming down as well. A great Nocturne shield that was going to stop the grab from coming in. The Zonia's having to come out of the uh, TF to make sure that the Vladimir ultimate doesn't kill him. Another great stun card coming out of TF as well. It looks like the uh, the Lee Sim was caught out a little bit by I'm a Cutie Pie, and I'm a Cutie Pie is going to get grabbed though by the Blitzcrank, and everybody's going to turn in on him. And the Q landed from the Lee Sin, and that is going to be a dead Tristana, which is the exact thing that you didn't want. But luckily, the shutdown going down onto the Lee Sin. Rengar picking up that one, and now it looks like everybody's running for their lives. Janna running back to the base gonna try to survive it looks like the tf is gonna be here for a little bit of moral support nocturne's just gonna have to be in his own base but this is going to be a free inhibitor for the blue team getting their second inhibitor of the game and it looks like with the super minions coming in and tristana being dead i don't think anybody's really gonna be able to stop this final push but it looks like a lot of damage going down onto the nocturne the ghost blade being used by the zed to get to this turret a little bit quicker that's going to be the first nexus turret the next nexus turret is being taken down right now Blitzcrank trying to land a good hook to just clean somebody up, but you can't also underestimate the Rengar if he does jump on somebody, even though he can't really jump on somebody because he doesn't have his ultimate available. There's really not much you can do here if you're the blue team. A lot of damage going down onto the Twisted Fate. The Nocturne is going to have to flash, but bring in the Zed underneath the turret, and that's going to be a kill. Sadly, I just don't think it's going to be enough here, but Tristana is now alive. I'm a cutie pie coming in here. Going to try to pick up a kill onto this Lucian, but is going to get grabbed by the Blitzcrank, taking a lot of damage. I don't know if they're going to be able to finish the game here. Tristana is still alive, poking away at this Blitzcrank, and he is going to go down. Tristana now healing and trying to get the kill onto the Vladimir, but Vladimir is going to use that Zoni's Hourglass to try to pick up another kill. Does manage to get the double kill onto the Rengar, but it looks like the Red Team has held off just for a little bit longer 66.3k to 61.0k 36 to 31 in terms of kills in favor of the blue team but it looks like they are not going down without a fight and it looks like Lee Sin I don't think he's going to try to pull like an ex-peke here and jump into the base but I couldn't think of a better champion than somebody like Lee Sin to do an ex-peke to put down wards and like to jump all across he does have his flash available too but I don't think he would necessarily do enough damage it is more of a tanky Lee Sin um, but it looks like the red team going for the Baron. Very, very smart maneuver on their part. But they do have vision of this. So, if yeah, if I were the Lee Sin, I would just move immediately into their base. Because you have an open Nexus right there. And it looks like that's exactly what Lee Sin's going to do. So, it's probably going to stop this. Uh, it looks like the B is coming out of the Twisted Fate to try to stop this Lee Sin. It looks like they will have enough to stop Lee Sin. And it looks like the TF is now just going to help with the Baron. So, that is going to be a Baron buff for the red team and now this is a great thing for the red team but now everybody's stuck in the base they're going to try to take down this sorry this zed and they will have enough to kill him trisada picking up that one and it looks like the tf is going to live as well but now everybody's trying to get away from this one but there's such low health in the middle of the baron pit they are just going to get kind of caught in here but trisada i'm a cutie pie in a great position just to pod shot over top of the baron wall and it looks like he's going very, very aggressive onto that Blitzcrank. We have the Rengar here as well, but the ultimate coming out from the bottom here. And a great Blitzcrank hook is going to lock down I'm a Cutie Pie. And is it going to be enough? Are they going to take him down? The shutdown going down onto the Vladimir. Tristana is dead. And look at these death timers. They have almost a minute of just the Janna. I don't know if this is going to be enough for them to pick up the Nexus. But it looks like they are willing to try both the Vladimir and the Blitzcrank running up right now. They do have super minions on it already. Guys, I think this is probably going to be the end of the game. The Janna, but then again, you know, you've got some super minions here of your own. But Janna not standing in there close enough to get these uh, the super imp Baron empowered minions. But just not going to be enough. So it looks like that is going to be the end of the game. And the surrender vote coming up from the red team. So sadly, even though we were voting for I'm a Cutie Pie, he had a fantastic early to mid game on that Trisana. But a couple very aggressive calls coming out of that red team just made it so the blue team could really come back and really snowball with the champions that they have. So guys, if you did enjoy that I'm a Cutie Pie commentary, the high yellow commentary that I provided, then definitely show that like button a little bit of love. Let me know in the comment section below um, what kind of players you want me to try to find a game of. If it's, if it's a streamer, if it's a professional gamer, let me know and I'll try to find a game that I can do a high yellow commentary over. If you guys want to know when I release a video, when I stream, or if you want to interact with me, follow me on Twitter at TwiggerLol. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoy content like this and want to see more. And ladies and gentlemen, as I always say, see you guys in the next next video.